Oh, bang. What are these people doing over here? It's all boarded up. Yeah. Oh no. Where is it? Right there. Right in front of you. Keep going straight. There she is. Oh, it's okay. Oh wait, that's Where it. Right there. Where oh. Are you? That is the Westwood that's the fox. fox. That's, that, this is it right here, mm -hmm. right? Would you like one? No. Oh, I got you one. Yeah, I really don't know where to go. Am I right here? Any famous rich people? Today's OTJ. I didn't give you guys a brandy haul yesterday, but I'll do it later. This is his shirt from some random place. He got these new pants yesterday from yes. Urban. And my shirt is from Forever 21. Pants are Urban. And we're both wearing Air Forces. Nice, man. Nice. Cool. That's all the stuff I got from like Brandy yesterday. So yeah. Um, today we are going to go to these shopping outlets that Patrick likes. Barb, what do I say? Cabasson. Cabasson. And we're going to get breakfast now at the same place we've been getting breakfast every day. So, <laughs> um, yeah. See you guys later. I'm vlogging on the phone. They're chatting out there. You see them? What a guy. Anyway. I forgot my camera. Mom, oh, you want me to go get it? No, I don't want to carry it today. We're just going to shopping outlet. I don't need to vlog anything. Mom, did you want one too? No. Where is he? Bye. Bye. Look at how cute. He's like a little marshmallow. He's the cutest marshmallow I've ever seen. All right, let me guess. All right, guys, I am back home finally. Sorry if you see my hairy armpits. Actually, I don't think they're that hairy right now. I shaved them yesterday. They look really irritated though. Okay, basically, sorry I'm talking so loud. I'm actually like by myself and I can talk as loud as I want instead of like having to whisper. So everyone's in the kitchen, so I know no one's listening to me. So we just got back. We went to uh, these, I think they're called Cabazon. I can't say it, but it's called Desert Hills Mall, like outlet mall type of thing. They just had a bunch of designer stores and normal stores, but since California has like the home order, they're only allowing like 30 capacity or 30% amount of capacity into the stores. So most of the stores had lines. So we didn't really get to go anywhere into those stores except for like a couple. We went into like Marc Jacobs and all like the fun designer places that we can't afford but um anyway we went there i tried to get into lululemon but they had like a virtual uh like check-in like to go into the store and they closed it for the day because maybe they reached capacity i don't know so i didn't go in we didn't get anything except we went to victoria's secret just to maybe find matching pjs me and his mom as I show her suitcase and clean laundry on top of her suitcase. But um, the only thing we got there was she got like two things and then me and her got like matching little sandal slipper things. She got like the pink and white and I got the blue. I have been wanting a pair of these for so long and these are so comfy and soft. I got a size large if you're curious for size reference. I'm like a size eight and a half ish depending on the shoe and those fit really well. So I want to give you guys a little haul because we also stopped at the Goodwill in Palm Springs because we wanted to go to a Goodwill in Malibu yesterday or I think it was yesterday that we did that but we just decided not to since we were also going to LA and stuff and it's already getting kind of late so and it was really small and not that much selection but I did get quite a few things and from my Brandy Melville yesterday in Santa Monica I got some stuff so I wanted to show you guys that. I'm actually wearing a top I just thrifted. I wanted to see how it fit because it looked like it was gonna like look awkward on me but isn't it cute? Sorry I have like my sports bra underneath it since I haven't washed this yet and I'm about to go take a shower so that's why I'm trying it on. We can't wash anything right now because um grandma has something in the washer and dryer so we can't do anything. It's this cute cowl neck tank top. I'll probably end up doing like a little mini California haul when I get home for those of you that don't watch my vlogs. I saw this really cute nasty gal dress. <laughs> I actually saw it and then I left it behind and then his mom was like, Gabby, this is cute. And I was like, it actually is. So I grabbed it. It was only like seven bucks. The Goodwill is definitely more expensive in California than it is in Florida. Everything in Florida is usually like seven or below 
and here everything's like at least eight dollars so this is cute though it has this like harry styles lettuce neckline with like little poofies really cute it looks like no one really ended up wearing this and uh, there's two of them but i liked this print more than the other print the other print actually kind of looked like this but with more obnoxious flowers so i got this little top i thought it was so cute and very brandy so this top was $7.99 by the brand Karen Kane and it's a large. I might crop it, but I might not. This dress was $8.99. And if my arms look really awkward, I'm trying not to get my coconut oil deodorant on this white top to stain it because the armpits are very high on this. Um, this was eight dollars then i got some Levi jeans in the men's section, which looked really small and cute. These were ten dollars. Oh hello there. Okay, aren't these cute? Like, this was in the men's section. This looks like full on jeans I would like get at a normal store. Usually in the men's section, all the jeans are like out to here, but these are really, really cute. And I like the wash, so I can't wait to try these on. Funny story with these jeans, I actually put them back. Like this girl was rolling around like a little cart thing, like a rolling rack. And I was like, oh, can I put this stuff there? Cause I had two pairs of shorts and like other tops and i was like i don't need these and i put these there because i was like i like my levi ones a lot so i'll just leave these behind but these are really cool so i ended up trying to find her and another co-worker had to get these off that rolling rack that was in the back but they're by the brand london jean and they're made in canada they're size six so they might be a little big on me but they look like this they have like a million buttons these are gonna be really cool high-waisted jeans because they have like a really long but I mean, but they have a really long seam right here. If these end up looking really bad on me, they will be on my Depop. The best thing, ow, the best thing I found was this, like a vintage sweatshirt. I don't know what this is. It has like a little distressment right there, but it's okay. This is 15 bucks. I would have never gotten this for 15 bucks in Florida, but it was really cute and I really liked it for some reason. So I know I'm gonna wear that a lot. And then I found Topshop shorts. These are definitely from like 2015, but they're so cute and they're still in good condition because this is still on there and they have buttons. So I don't have to worry about like a zipper breaking on me. These were, I think these were 10 bucks. I found a pair of bongo jeans. I mean, bongo shorts for $4, but they looked really big. So I just left them behind. It's my little thrift haul. Now onto what I got at Brandy. I'm gonna set you guys at a different angle. I'm probably talking really loud now it's all quiet out there i got this basic gray shirt super cute i was actually thinking about wearing this today but i ended up not wearing it i got the best thing ever i've been wanting this sweatshirt for so long like since my last trip here i've been wanting this and i just never got it and this trip i was like i'm getting it i want it in brown or like the dark green but they only had this color and gray and white and I always wanted this blue color so I just got it. And then I got these cute ass shorts. <sighs> these are so cute. I was actually scared these were gonna look really bad on me but they look really nice. For some brandy things, I'm too curvy. Like some of the shorts or jeans are too much of a camel toe or my butt's too smushed or the zipper doesn't even wanna zip up. So it just depends, and I thought these were gonna be like really up my butt. But they're actually not. I just got some jewelry, because I love Brandy Melville jewelry. I have had these same cherry earrings from 2019, and they're not rusted one bit. So I had to get some more. Um, I got this cute necklace. It's like a little gold heart. Well, it's a red heart, but gold. Kind of matching earrings. They're just like with little jewels. And these were five bucks. I just love their earrings. They are really cheap, but for some reason they last really well. I'm gonna go. I need to do some laundry and wash a bunch of my masks and wash off my face because I feel really gross in shower. So, peace out. I'll see you tomorrow.